Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mighty JJK channel and the 71 Ford Thunderbird build. If you recall, I put the black in there to fill those cylinders all the way out, so now I'm masking that with the sticky tack. Alright, so those are filled now. I will spray inside here with the brown. Also gonna hit the steering wheel. Look at that, that's awesome. The next step before masking is to dry brush this area right here. I'm done masking for the dark blue. I masked off the roof. I masked off the engine bay area because I want those sides to be the body color. Okay, it's the next day and this paint has dried. There were some dots and you can still kind of see them. Quick coat on the inside. We can see that the pedals have silver with black inlays. These vents should be black on the inside, I think. I'm gonna try to find something in the spares to do that. So that line right in there needs to be chromed as well as that button for the glove box. This is silver or chromed. This piece along here below the armrest. You can see there what should be chrome. And there's no, um, unfortunately, no Thunderbird inside that rectangle. Here, you can see that that Thunderbird in the middle be silver. This is all chrome, this bottom row along here. Um, I wanna try to, to get mine as close to that as these details will allow, as well as down in here. I fill in those vent spaces and radio buttons with black wash. Then use silver paint to fill in some of the other detail on the dashboard. I mask the Thunderbird on the center console as well as the Thunderbird on the taillight piece and dry brush those. Then I went back and masked and dry brushed the gas and brake pedal as well. This is uh, enamel on here. I'm gonna use the same acrylic wash. I went through the spares, found a piece I think will work, or the shift as well as turn indicators. Q-tip stuck it in the thinner and I'm just wiping this off to leave that uh, wash down in those lines. Do the same thing here. Here's the interior. Uh, I'm ready to hit it with the dull coat. Here's the result of the dull coating. I I think it came out really well. The shading in the folds there. I just took the sticky tack out of the dials and then there's the steering wheel. Those um, pedals came out good. I had showed you there was some you know, dots in here. So basically what I did is just use my lightest standing sticks. You know, this is smooth now. So I've cleaned it and I'm gonna hit it with pledge, which is what I usually do on planes. So I tried to fix this roof or clean it up a little bit with uh, some Windex and then uh, gave it another shot of the pledge. Here goes nothing. This is the part I've been wanting to do, but I've been dreading to do. So let's see how it goes. The problem is you have to use it almost straight up and down. Okay. That looks pretty good. God darn it. This requires a steady hand. And that's something that I just don't have. So I use a lot of tape and a lot of stripe decal and things like that. There you can see, I mean, it looks good if it was done well, but it's not. Yeah, the problem with this is you have to be like straight up and down. You can't do it at like at an angle, you know, and that's what sucks because then it touches the side next to it. I may resort to just dumping this all into a container and just using a toothpick. I'm at an angle like that and I'm not getting anything. Like that's the steepest angle, see? And not even on all sides. Yeah, this uh, tip is not the greatest. I'm not gonna waste it on the bottom of there. I'm gonna try this other one. I might try a couple of others actually. I mean, I love this stuff, but that tip sucks, unfortunately. So this is the oil-based Sharpie. So let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, I don't know if these pens are the best thing. I mean, the outside ones are easy to get to, but it's not as versatile as a brush. I would have sprayed that first, masked it, and sprayed this over and get nice clean lines. This bums totally bums me out. 
All right, so live and learn on this. That's what I'm gonna do in here. I'm gonna mask all this off. These pens, I mean, my opinion in general, maybe I need more practice with them. But these, when the tip is like this, you almost have to be straight up and down and it really limits what you can do with it. Because look, just holding it at a normal writing angle, I get nothing. It's the same thing with the Molotov. I get the need for this to get, you know, exquisite reflectivity and detail like this, but even this I gotta clean up, but I don't see it for larger scale stuff like this. That looks like shit, I'm bummed. So I gotta go back and deal with this. I'm gonna try to touch up the brown around those dials. All right, well, that's about the best I can get it. I'm going to mask these uh, silver or chrome parts and, and paint them separately. These just came. This is the turn signal amber metallic, and this is stoplight red metallic for the turn signals. I finished masking both sides, and now I'm going to uh, shoot this with uh, silver. Pretty much what this is, these are the uh, improved seats. It's still tacky, but uh, I want to get it off there while it's still tacky. Hopefully you can see inside there. I'm pretty pleased with the way that came out. So here it is, my first interior. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Um, this is the dashboard, I did the dials. Um, and I highlighted and then filled in the vents and what have you down here. I scratch built the turn indicator and gear shift and altered the steering wheel so that it would tilt up higher um, so that it wouldn't sit on the seat when it was um, put in there. And then on the inside of the interior, I brought out the pedals and the Thunderbird in the middle by dry brushing those. I also did some uh, wash in the lines in the seats and then masked off and did the chrome highlights on each side as well as on the seats. Everything was dull coated. Yeah, I'm super happy with the way it came out. Uh, could I have done some things better? Sure, but you know, there's a first time for everything and uh, live and learn. Overall though, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I'll show you the reference for this, but this uh, kind of trench right here should be the tail light color. This is stoplight red, I, I think it's close. Put a few drops in there, this is the tester's thinner. And my only concern is really staying inside that line. I'm gonna do the same thing in these turn indicators. They're amber inside. So here's the front and rear uh, bumper. Yeah, I like that amber and red testers uh, paint. Looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it came out and uh, it's a lot of fun. I like how this came out uh, with the dull coat. You still have a, a slight shine to it. I think to represent a vinyl top, this is just too shiny, but the Molotow has to go down on a gloss surface. All right, so I masked all the way around to all these windows um, to keep those edges glossy. Here is the roof dull coated. So now the dots are gone. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's this weird shadowy thing in here, uh, but I'm done. The back bumper is actually the body color and I saw it in several references. I believe the only difference between the 70 and the 71 was that this front under bumper is body color on the 70 and chromed on the 71. That looks pretty cool. I'm leaving the black firewall masked, then the black front wall. Now I'm gonna mask off the roof to shoot the blue. You can see I have most of this masked, but now I need to get in here these ever so slight blue that's over that edge. Same thing on this side, so I'm gonna use this sticky tack 
if you can see that and uh, get that last piece there. Here's the car after the body has been painted. For the most part, it came out pretty good. Um, same thing on the hood here. Um, so we can get a reflection. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that finish. Um, and then on the inside, so once I peel off all that uh, tape, it'll reveal the black that I put on previously to simulate like the insulation. So that came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And then finally, this uh, bumper piece that was previously uh, coated in the Molotow, I think is coming out okay. It looks like it should dry all right. I'm gonna let that dry for a good 72 hours. And it is seven o'clock on Monday night, uh, end of the Labor Day weekend. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. I really wanted to finish in this video, but might as well get this out. So I have the interior done, the wheels are ready to go, all the engine, putting that into the chassis, the exhaust and uh, back axle into the chassis, assembling the rest of the engine parts, and then all the detailing, the chrome detailing on the body. For instance, that Thunderbird on the nose, um, and the Thunderbirds that are back here. I think there's some writing, all the detailing around the window, and then putting it all together. It's just amazing how much work there is uh, on a car. I never thought it was this complex. Um, I mean, that's just a partial list um, for this video of all the things I had to finish. And what I've yet to do is down there at the bottom, basically assemble the car and uh, do all the detail. That'll do it for this part, and for sure we will finish it in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching and happy modeling.